Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me and today we're making a lovely marula oil overnight hair mask. So this stuff is basically extra awesome conditioner that we're going to put in our hair and then pop on a super sexy shower cap and uh, sleep in it and then wake up in the morning, wash our hair and end up with beautifully soft, hydrated, strengthened hair. This hair mask is mostly water because hair honestly just doesn't need that much oil. Too much oil and you sort of cross that peak of looking better and start heading very steeply down the looking worse side of things. So to the water base, I've added hydrating glycerin and vitamin B5. There's also silk to strengthen and add shine to your hair and some phytokeratin for bounce. I've also added a little bit of shave grass root, which is really rich in silica, which helps strengthen your hair. The oil part of this hair mask stars marula oil, which is a beautiful lightweight oil that sinks into the skin really quickly that's pressed from the seeds of the marula tree, which is a tree that's endemic to Western and Southern Africa. You might be familiar with marula because that's where we get amarula liqueur, which is probably a little bit more delicious in cocktails than this stuff, but this stuff is great for our hair. It's rich in antioxidants and vitamins C and E to help strengthen and rejuvenate and hydrate our hair. This is the perfect project for pampering your lovely locks. So come on, let's go get started. We'll kick things off by getting all of our oil parts into a heat resistant glass measuring cup. So here we have four grams of BTMS 50. This is our emulsifier, but it also has excellent conditioning properties. Then we'll add six grams of marula oil, which is a lovely lightweight antioxidant rich carrier oil from Africa. And we have one gram of vitamin E oil. and then we'll combine our water part. So in here we have 79 grams of water, and then we'll add half a teaspoon of powdered shave grass root, 10 grams of vegetable glycerin, one gram of phytokeratin, one eighth of a teaspoon of panthenol or vitamin B5, which is a humectant, and half a teaspoon of silk powder. So we're going to take each of these parts and put them in a saute pan that's got about an inch or three centimeters of water in it. And I'm gonna go pop this on the stovetop over medium heat for about half an hour to get the water to heat up and then to melt this oil part through and to heat and hold our water part to help kill any bacteria that might be living in there. While it's still on the heat, I'm going to add the oils to the water part because the BTMS 50 is pretty inclined to setting up quite quickly. So we need to combine them while they're still over the heat so that the oils don't re-solidify on us. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes and everything melted through and then I combined them and gave them a quick stir on the stove top. And so I'm just going to set the water bath aside because it is steaming up the camera lens. I can give this a dry off here and hopefully that camera lens will clear up soon. All right, so give that a stir. We have our trusty immersion blender here. So I've already given this a couple blasts with the immersion blender to get the emulsifying going. So at this stage, we need to give it pretty short blasts because if we give it long blasts, the um, mixture is going to leap out of the container. So that's pretty thoroughly incorporated. So now we just need to leave this to let it cool. So I'm gonna walk away for about 10 minutes and come back and check on it. So it's been 10 minutes and this really hasn't thickened up much at all. A little bit on top, which you can kind of see here, but for the most part, it's still just the consistency of water. So we'll give it another good blending and then leave it to cool some more. All 
All right, that's actually already starting to thicken up. Now, when you're using your immersion blender, you need to be careful not to pump too much air in here. You can see there's a bit of air in here from the bubbles, and that's from me angling the blender to the side to try and show you what I'm doing on camera, but uh, that's not great practice. <laughs> So I'll give this another quick blend and then we'll leave it for a little while longer. Let's see where we're at. Ooh, all right. This is thickened up beautifully and it's only very barely warm to the touch, so we can add our essential oils and our preservative. So for our essential oils, we'll be using a blend of lavender essential oil, lemongrass, and cedar wood. So we'll start with 20 drops of lavender. Then we'll add 10 drops of lemongrass and 7 drops of cedar. And last but not least, our preservative. So here I have half a gram of liquid Germal Plus. And as you can see, that's barely any at all, but it's very potent and it will do the trick. And now all that's left is to transfer it to our container. So I've got this great little 100 milliliter plastic jar here that's from Yellow Bee, and I'll pop the link in the description box below. It's the perfect size for this batch of hair mask. And there we are. Pop a lid on that, and we are ready to mask up our hair whenever we want. All right, let's do a hair mask. So start by letting our hair down and giving it a comb. So this is a wooden comb, which I especially love for hair care. They are said to be extra great because they don't generate static like plastic combs can, and they don't have seams in them, which can catch your hair and break it. So my hair is a lot shorter now than it has been for probably the last 10 years. So I'm not going to need a whole lot of mask. For my hair but uh, that will obviously depend on you and how much hair you have my hair is pretty thick so obviously if you have thinner hair you're not going to need as much all right so we have our hair mask here and so i'm not going to be applying this to my roots if you have very very dry hair that might be a good idea maybe if you have afro type hair but my roots get plenty of oil without really needing any help from me. So I'm just gonna start smoothing this through my hair from kind of like the top of my ears down and um, avoiding, you know, sort of like the back of my head and the scalp back here as well. All right, so I think that's, you know, that's more than enough. I'm looking thoroughly greebly from about the ears down. And as you can see, I really didn't use that much of this. This was, you know, well, just like it was in the video, just when you saw it me fill it up. So you can see that it's really, like I haven't used very much, maybe two tablespoons. So now all that's left is to top this look off with this very sexy shower cap that I bought on the internet. So I'm just going to use an elastic to pull my hair up to make this a little easier. I'm hardly an experienced shower cap user. I have basically no idea what I'm doing here. But because we're leaving this on overnight, I really didn't want to sleep in, you know, my nice clean sheets with like properly dirty oily hair. So all this goes. Looking fine, if I do say so myself. Let me pull my ears out of there. And yeah, uh, I'm gonna go to bed like this. I will see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> all 
good morning. So I slept pretty well with this thing on. Uh, it's a little bit like sleeping with your head in a chip bag, but uh, way, way better than foam rollers. Uh, definitely sort of found above ears was best because with over ears, it sort of starts to like eat your head. But yeah, we can get rid of that, uh, rinse it out, let it dry, and take the hair down. Oh. So it's, like it feels reasonably dry. There's, you know, the, the hair mask is mostly water and so that's mostly dried out. I'm definitely looking pretty, pretty greebly, so it is time for me to go wash my hair. If you have drier hair than I do, you might be able to get away with just rinsing this out because the emulsifying wax in there will help it rinse out. But uh, I don't have particularly dry hair, so I know I'm going to need to actually get in there with some of my homemade shampoo bars and actually wash out the excess. Otherwise, well, my hair's not going to be looking any better. <laughs> uh, okay, shower time. All right, one shower later and I've got Nice clean hair. I used my mermaid silk shampoo bars and my silk apple cider vinegar hair rinse to pH balance. So I'll pop the recipes for both of those things in the description box below if you wanna check them out. So now I just gotta let my hair dry. I'm not really big on blow drying my hair cause blow drying makes your hair dry and straight but so does about two or three hours if I just leave my hair. So I will be back when my hair has dried. <laughs> And there we go. So it's been about two to three hours and my hair is lovely and dry and it feels amazing. Like I, I've just been sort of sitting on the couch writing and playing with my hair for the last couple hours and it feels so lovely. It's smooth and hydrated and happy and I think you're gonna love this hair mask. Because it is really rich, I don't recommend using it more than maybe two to three times a month because it can build up in your hair, especially if you're using natural hair care products like your own homemade shampoo, which just isn't as strong as sort of shop-bought shampoos. Maybe if you've got really dry hair, you can get away with using it more often, but uh, I think two to three times a month is more than enough to keep your hair feeling pretty fantabulous. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and check the description box below for the full written recipe and links to everything I used in this video. And I will see you next time.